The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 13, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in March 1966 at the Mishra Yoga Society, New York. This is Satan's flaw. You can open it. <coughs> the Sanskrit word is Dina Asvin Jathadehi Komaram Jovanam Jara Sathadhi Hantanam Prati Bhira Sapra Namiya Sarkin here. Used in old days, are attributed to the soul through this body, gives the soul to change another body. The wise man does not get to look about this. Yes. Now, this, this wise man, the word, Sanskrit word, is uh, Bhira. Bhira means that one who is undisturbed in mind. And our disturbance of the mind is due to our ignorance. Suppose uh, I want to go somewhere. Now I am in the station. And actually it so happened when I came to New York first from India, uh, I was to dispatch to Butler by the bus station. But I, I was a new man. I did not know the rules and regulations. Of course, somebody was driving me. Still, I was very much in this type of condition, how to get on the bus, how to get the ticket, how... <coughs> so, disturbance of mind is due to our ignorance. Yes, coming. <laughs> yes. So, the disturbance of mind is due to our ignorance. Here, a very nice word is used, bhira. Bhira. Bhira means undisturbed. Undisturbed. We should, we should carefully know that uh, our mind in the material condition is always disturbed. Always disturbed. And this is due to our uh, unfavorable condition. Because we are actually spirit in identity. And we have been put into material condition. We can very well experience, and, and we have, I, I got experience, and here is a Captain Fandia, uh, he has also experience, he may be more than experienced than me, uh, and, and when we pass through the sea, on the sea, although we are on the sea, quite safe, still, when there is some storm, when there is some disturbance on the ocean, we also become very much disturbed. Because that situation is uh, foreign to us. We are not so much disturbed in the land as we are disturbed in the ocean, because we know that our position in the ocean is not our natural condition. So we should know that disturbance is due to our unnatural condition. Otherwise there is no question of disturbance. So whole disturbance of mind, it is uh, described in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, uh, 
तत्साधु मन में श्रवर्ज विहीनाम सदा समुद्विघ्न धियाम असद ग्रहा असद ग्रहा है इत्यात्मघातम गृह अन्न कूपम बनंग गतोजक हरिमाश्रयता दिस इज एवर्स इन कनेक्शन विथ टॉक्स बिटवीन महाराज प्रहलाद एंड इज फादर हिरण्य कशिप His father was God materialist. Hiranna Kasi. Hiranna means gold, and Kasi who means a soft bed. So materialist, they are concerned with gold and soft bed yeah, for enjoyment. You see, so his name was Hiranna Kasi, and the Pralhad, his son. Allah means prakishta rupena Allah. Allah means pleasure. He is always full of pleasure. He has nothing to do with material because material pleasure cannot give us pleasure. It is our mistake. But because we have no information of the spiritual pleasure, and because we are conditioned by this material body, therefore we seek. Pleasure through matter. Now we have to raise ourselves from this position, and then we can get unlimited pleasure. Uh, we want pleasure, but we do not want such pleasure which ends. Uh, we want a non-ending pleasure. That is our. Uh, Heart desire, but in material pleasure we cannot have that. Thing. Even if you uh, get a very good food stuff, just del- delicious, still after taking a uh, some portion of it, you will feel yourself happy at it. Then that very food stuff, you will say, no, no, I don't want it because that ends. Uh, So that is not real pleasure. Real pleasure is defined ananta. <coughs> ananta means that which has no end. So that pleasure you can have only uh, when you are spiritually realized soul. That is possible. Uh, that is possible. We are <coughs> reading all these scriptures. Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavat Gita, and there are so many <coughs> Vedic literatures that if anyone wants to have a spiritual life, there is complete facility. There is complete facility. Now this Pralhad, Pralhad was a boy, a child, not boy. He was only five years old. So his father called him. So, my dear son, what you have learned from your teacher, best, please explain. So he is explaining this. So, tatsadu manne suravajjo dihinam sada samudhvignam sada samudhvignam dhyam asadgraha hityatma ghatam grihyam da kubam बनंगसु जत हरिमाश्रयता माई डियर फादर एंड हिज फादर वॉज बी मेटीरियलिस्ट दैट फॉर मेटीरियलिस्ट आर कॉल्ड इन संस्कृत लैंग्वेज असुर असुर देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग ऑल इ कैन असुर एंड देव 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 मीन्स Human beings who are connected with the supreme law, their life is uh, for realization of the supreme truth. They are called deva. Just like in a higher planet, there are also living beings. They are called devata, demigods, because their <coughs> uh, magnitude of pleasure is far, far greater than ours. But because 
they do everything in relation with the Supreme Lord. That was they are called Devata. Devata. Devata means demigod. And Asura, Asura means just the opposite. They simply enjoy life for the matter of sense pleasure. That's so those who are interested in sense pleasure, they are called Asuras. And those who are interested unending spiritual pleasure, they are called devotas. Devotas and Asura does not mean that Asuras are very ugly and devotas are very beautiful. Eh? Even the ugly man can become a devota. Eh? Eh? Or even a beautiful man may become uh, Asura. That is due to his mentality. Uh, because after all, the soul is pure. Uh, when he is in uh, unnatural condition of life, wants to enjoy simply the material senses, he becomes Asura. So Asura can be turned into Devata. Uh, there is no hindrance. So, Pranad Maharaj, just think, the father was Osura and the son was Devata. So, a Osura's son can be Devata and a Devata's son can be an Osura. Just like uh, in India, in India nowadays there is a, a great movement for removing the caste system because the higher caste, Brahmins, they are claiming due to their birthright, higher position. And the others, they are, and, uh, in, in inconvenience, they are, they are, they are, they are. nowadays the Brahmins are doing the same thing, what we are doing, a Sudra, why he should claim? So there is that quote. You see? <coughs> so, the so Devata Asura, the division is, that, of course, the, of course, according to our Shastra, the Brahmin family means Devata family. But because <coughs> nowadays they are descendants, they are deviated, deviated from the Brahminical culture, uh, they are not to be considered as Devata. That is also mentioned in the Shastra. They are called Brahma Bandhus. According to Shastra, they are called Brahma Bandhus. Brahma Bandhus means Son of a branch, but not a branch. Just like a son of high court justice, he, he can claim that I am the son of a high court justice, that's all. But because he is the son of a high court justice, he cannot claim that I am also the justice of the high court. So that the consideration is there. So Asura Devata, there is no such formula that in this line only the Asura will come. And in this line only the devotas will come. The Asura can be uh, converted into devota, and the devotas also can be converted into Asura according to their action. Chatutvannam maya sistam gunaganma vibhavasa. And the Bhagavad Gita is fine that this whole division of caste that is uh, created by me, maya sistam, I have created. Uh, but how it is? Na, according to guna and karma, according to quality and according to his work. He never says according to birth. So just see. Now, here, Hiranakasipo. Hiranakasipo is Asura. But his son is Devata. But now, uh, now according to Bhattarai, uh, he should be also Asura. But no, he is Devata. Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj is counted one of the great, twelve great personalities uh, who can uh, distribute transcendental knowledge. Therefore, Mahajan. Mahajan. Now, this Pallad Maharaj, uh, because he is Mahajan, uh, his uh, statement should be accepted. So, he is saying to his father, uh, uh, Asura Vajra. My dear father, you are the mm, uh, uh, greatest of the Asuras. Asura Bhajya. Bhajya means greatest. Uh, so if he, if his father 
he he and addresses his father Asura was Asura because your aim is simply sense pleasure. Is it? So Tathadu Manne Asura Vajja Dehina. The father asked the son uh, what you have learned the best. So he is also saying a sincerity and before his father the best thing. The my dear father uh, for the and Dehina, here also the same thing, Dehina. Dehina means Yatha Dehi. Dehina. Dehina means the spiritual spark who has accepted this material body. This material body is foreign. That will be explained. Just like your coat and fat is foreign to your self. Similarly, this material body is foreign. So Dehina, Dehina means one who has accepted this material body. So, we are accepted, man accepted means we have done something by which we have been forced to accept. Forced to accept. Just like uh, if you are put into the prison house, the prison house uh, has got separate dress. Uh, so when you are put into the prison house, you have to keep aside your own and my own household dress, and you have to take that particular dress. If you say no, no, I cannot accept this dress. I am a gentleman. I have got costly dress. I shall put on that. No, you must. For similarly, we we living entities, we are forced to accept different kind of dress. Oh, there are eight million four hundred thousand kinds of dresses like this body. Uh, and, and your body, my boy, you see, uh, now we are here, uh, several ladies and gentlemen, but uh, you will find that nobody's body will be similar to the other body. And God's arrangement is so nice that everyone has got his particular body, uh, according to his work. It is so nice arrangement. You will find uh, millions of persons and everyone will find different from the other. You won't find two similar persons. So they you know, because there are different kinds of mentality. Uh, not that all our mentality is one and the same. No, no. Yeah. And the law of nature is so fine that according to the different kinds of mentality, they have got different kinds of bodies. The Dehina means. So Sulharma is saying that Sattadumanni Suravadu Dehina. Dehina means <coughs> of those who have accepted this material body. For them. And what is their condition? That Dehina Sada Samadhivigna Dhyam. Dehina, one who has accepted this material body, he is. Conditional life is always full of anxiety. Not that that you are always in want, eh? even in your duty. Just like uh, uh, our captain class is here, I am saying, in this sea, we have got very uh, serious duty. I see, in the ocean, he is always consulting the chart and the latitude, longitude, which side the sea is going. And that is anxiety, huh? because so many lives, so many properties is under his control. Any a slight mistake would uh, play hammer. We do not know. I was asking the captain, sir, where are you are going? But I do not know. I see simply vast of water. But he has not responsible. He knows this thing. So any responsible officer, any responsible, your president Johnson, he is also full of anxiety. Huh? I am an, uh, also full of anxiety, you are also full of anxiety. Even a, a small bird will find, you give, give a small bird some grain, you will see like this. Uh, uh, is there any? Somebody is coming. Somebody is killing me. So full of anxiety. This is the condition. Uh, this is the condition. Uh, so you cannot, you cannot mm, uh, uh, be free uh, from the anxiety. Dehina, Lanmana says, Sadas Hamadhivigna Dhyam, and uh, why this anxiety? 
न असद ग्रहात असद ग्रहा बिकॉज ही हैज एक्सेप्टेड दिस टेम्पररी बॉडी ही इज इटर्नल लिविंग स्वीट इज इटर्नल बट ही हैज बीन फोर्स टू एक्सेप्ट दिस टेम्पररी बॉडी दिस इज माई पोजिशन वन सो the concept of the precarious position that i am eternal but i am in case in a temporary body i will not exist however i may try to make it useful by so many arrangement eh? but no the science cannot give you permanent life oh that is not possible you may however may be proud of your scientific advancement of knowledge and that bhagavad gita says that four things janma mrityu jara vyadhi dukha dushan darshanam my dear sir how are you may make advancement in scientific knowledge you cannot stop birth you cannot stop death you cannot stop old age neither you can stop disease So, so long we have got this body, uh, uh, so we must have anxiety. That is the law of nature. Now here, uh, here it is said that uh, now, uh, now let us finish that. Allah Maal said, "The Sada Samit Bhagino Jiyam, my dear father, uh, for persons who have accepted this uh, temporary material body." And is full of anxiety always. Uh, for them, my uh, idea is that they should give up this materialistic life and surrender unto Hari. Hari means Bhagwan, the Supreme Lord. That is the way of getting out of. Uh, and actually, this is so. And in the Bhagavad Gita, we find in the last instruction to Arjuna. सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य माने कंग सर्व दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज आई एम गिव यू बिकॉज यू आर माई फ्रेंड एंड बिकॉज आई लव यू वेरी मच देयर फॉर दिस इज माई लास्ट वर्ड सो वी कैन गेट फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल एंगजाइटी एज सुन एज वी आर सरन डाइ टू दैट इज द होल सिस्टम ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज आराधित यदि हरी सपता तथा किम यू टू एक्सेप्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग दिस प्रिंसिपल दैट आई मस्ट सरेंडर एंड टू द सुप्रीम लॉ दैन देर इज नो आर आर नेसेसिटी ऑफ प्रोसिक्यूटिंग योर स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज दैट इज द फाइनल स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज आराधित यदि हरी सपता तथा किम तपस्था मीन्स पेरेंट एक्सेप्टिंग पेरेंट फॉर स्पिरिचुअल रियलाइजेशन ना One who has accepted the worship of the supreme law, he has no more anything to do for spiritual realization. He has realized. And Nara did the very hard step of that that came, and after undergoing so much severe penance, if one does not understand what is God, then whole thing is for. Step of that that came, whole penance. is why because he could not reach to the ultimate go the aradhita jadi hari sabsha tatat kin naradhita jadi hari sabsha tatat kin antar vahi jadi hari sabsha tatat kin one who has achieved that knowledge that he can see within himself at outside always the supreme law he has no more necessity of any pain And after undergoing all sorts of penances, if I cannot realize that God is within me and God is without everywhere, then all my penances are spoiled. Okay. These are very nice. So here, here it is saying that Bhira, Bhira, Dehi Nasmin Jatha Dehi Kumara Jyu Manan Jara, and. तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति धीर तत्र नहीं देहिना देहिना मीन्स 
one who has accepted these material parts. Asmin, Asmin, man in this world or in this life, Jatha as Dehi, Dehi means within this body. Yeah. Because Dehina means one who has accepted uh, this body and Dehi within this body. So I am sitting within this body. Uh, now I am not this body. Just like you are within this heart and coat. Similarly, I am also within this body. This God's body and the subtle body. This God body is made of this earth, water, and uh, fire, air, and ether. This is God. This is our this, uh, whole material body. Now, in this earth, in this planet, earth is prominent. Anywhere, the body, material body is made of these five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. These are the five ingredients. Just like this building, this whole building is made of uh, earth, water, and fire. Uh, you have taken some earth uh, uh, and uh, you have made bricks and uh, burnt into the fire and up and mixing the earth with water you make a shape of breath and then you put into the uh, fire and then when it is uh, strong enough then you set it. That's like a big building. So it is nothing but a display of art, water and fire. Simple. Uh, that's all. Similarly, our body is also made in that way. Art, water, fire, uh, air and ether. Here, air is passing, we breathing, you know, that air is always there. This, uh, this uh, outer skin is hard, uh, and there is heat in the stomach. Without heat, you cannot uh, digest anything, you see. Uh, as soon as the heat is uh, diminished, your, your digesting power becomes uh, back. There are so many things. This is, this is arrangement. Uh, now, in this planet, we have got this body, uh, which is where earth is very prominent. Similarly, in other planets, other planets, uh, somewhere water is very prominent, somewhere fire is very prominent. Uh, in the sun planet, the body is there. There are also living entities. But their body is so mad that it is fire. They can exist in the fire. Uh, they can exist in the fire. Similarly, the Varuna Loka, the Bhenar, all these planets, they have got different types of body. Just like here you can experience that uh, in the water, the aquatics, they have got a different type of body. Uh, for years and years together, uh, there are uh, aquatic animals, they are within the water, they are very comfortable. But the moment you drag it to the land, it dies. Similarly, you are very comfortable on the land. But the moment you are put in the water, you die. Because uh, your body, bodily construction is different. His body is the bodily construction is different. The bird bodily, by the bird, heavy bird, it can fly. Uh, but uh, God's made flying instrument. Uh, but uh, your man made instrument, it crashes, crashes. <laughs> because you are still artificial. Uh, so, this is the argument. Uh, every living being has got a particular type of body. And what is the nature of that body? But here the matter is being explained that how we change our body. That is a difficult problem for us because we are engrossed with the idea of identifying this body with the soul. Now, the first ABCD of spiritual knowledge is to understand that I am not this body. Unless one is firmly convinced that I am not this body, he cannot make progress in the spiritual life. So the first lesson in the Bhagavad Gita is taken in that. So here there is a Dehi Nathmi. Now Dehi, the soul. Dehi means soul. One who has accepted this uh, body, material body, he is called Dehi. So, Asmin, he is there. He is there. 
but his body is changing. His body is changing. Now, our body was formed in the womb of my mother. That is also described in the Srimad Bhagavad, the physiology, physiology of this body. It is said that, that according to our karma, we are put through the semina of the father and injected into the womb of the mother. And the father's secretion and the mother's secretion that is emulsified and takes the form of a pea, and that pea gradually develops. In three months there are holes, nine holes, the eyes, ears, nose, and the just like we have got nine holes. And in seven months the whole body is complete. Then the child gets consciousness. And ten months it is just uh, ready to come out. So by year, the same year forces the child to come out and, and, the, and the mother connects time. Because he, he, so long a child remains to the womb of the mother, she, she takes through the mother. So there is uh, intestinal connection between the child and the mother. So after the child comes out, the intestinal connection is cut out and he becomes a separate child. That is the law. Now, the, our point is, as from the mother's sum, from the very beginning of her birth, as, as the body develops, develops. Similarly, after coming out of the body, it also develops. But the spirit spark is there, the same. The body takes development. So, now, <clears throat> that development from this small child, he becomes a, a bigger child, then becomes a boy, then, then becomes a, a youth, then gradually a old man like me, and then uh, gradually when this body is no longer useful, then it, is, it has to be given up and another body has to be taken. This is the process of transmigration of soul. I think there is no difficulty to understand this simple process. Now the soul is there, and the body is transforming every moment, every moment, imperceptibly. Just like if you have seen some, uh, some your friend's child is small, and after five years you go to that friend's house and see the child, Oh, he had grown so big, and eh? he had grown so big, but the father and mother cannot see, because they are seeing daily, they do not see the, how my child is doing, daily. Eh? Uh, but a, a man who comes all of a sudden after five years, he says, oh, the child is grown up. So imperceptibly we are changing our body every moment, every moment. And that is also medical science, that we are changing our blood corpuscles every moment, you see. Similarly, uh, what is the difficulty to understand the, mm, uh, that the soul transmigrates from uh, uh, one body to another? It is very nicely explained here. As the uh, owner of the body is there, within the body. But the body is changing one after another, one after another. Dehinasmin jathadehi, komara juvana. Yes, two examples are given. Komaram, komaram means uh, the age up to um, fifteen years. The age after fifteen years, that is called komara. And after from sixteen years, so upward, so after forty years, one is youth, and then after forty years one becomes old. This is the process of this body. Uh, but uh, it will be later on explained. The spirit soul within this body, that is not changing. Uh, the body is changing. The dehinas means jathadehi, komarajuvanam jara, 
तथा विहांत्रम प्राप्ति धीर सत्य धीर में मैन हु इज आउट ऑफ इग्नोर धीर सत्य नाम धीर में विगैन फर्स्ट एक्शन धीर में वन ही वन हु इज आउट ऑफ इग्नोर दैट सो वन हु नोज वन हु नोज the process of the body changing every moment then why he should lament when this body is left and another body says suppose if i throw away this uh, uh, covering of my body and take another covering uh, then what is their lamentation what is the cause of lamentation and uh, one should be rather glad that the uh, old garment is uh, thrown away and one new garment is uh, taken up uh, so this 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 question because arjuna was disturbed that how can i fight with my grandfather which is all right that is my duty to fight but how can i fight with my grandfather vishma de with my teacher dona charjo it is not possible so he is playing the part of a fool but he was not a fool but just to teach her and then he becomes a fool like us why this bhagavad gita is come the bhagavad gita just like it is uh, play uh, krishna is constant company on of arjun uh, so arjun cannot be put into that ignorance it is for our benefit that by the will of the law krishna uh, arjun is put into that sort of ignorance so he is asking uh, krishna all these questions just like a foolish man and krishna is giving instruction so that it is being recorded in the history of mahabharat for future generation so here arjun he was declining fight declining fight that how can i fight with my grandfather see he is respectable he has brought me up since my father's death and he is my teacher gunacharya he has taught me this military art whatever i am warrior uh, my expertness is due to him and do you think krishna i can kill them no i can fight with them i can kill them that is not my duty so arjuna and says like that but krishna says no you must be dutiful never mind who is that your grandfather or your teacher no when there is fight you are a kshatriya a kshatriya should not be uh, has no other consideration in the fight uh, he must fight uh, so here is the thing see, that uh, krishna does not say that you, you become uh, a non violent no there is this when there is question of fight in for rise cause you must fight there is no question of becoming non violent is it now so he is uh, saying that uh, don't be uh, aggrieved and uh, even your grandfather bhishma they died even your donata jo uh, it will be good for them because they are now old enough uh, and as soon as and uh, they are dead uh, they get a new body eh? so you should not be a uh, discourage uh, the one thing is that we need to say that therefore uh, a man should be killed no we cannot kill without reason no, that will be a great sin but this is a fight uh, this is a fight for a cause no. they are not killers it is say that a khatriya who lays down his life in the battle field he at once rises up to the high plane okay. uh, because for right cause uh, um, if one lays down his life just like um, so many people they um, lay lay down their life uh, for for the cause of the country uh, do you mean to say uh, they are sinful or they are going to help no no those who are laying down for the good cause their life uh, their next life is very brilliant huh? but if you commit suicide without any 
a reason and uh, written or held out any cause, then he will be sinful. Dehinasmin jatha dehi kaumaha jyogunang jada tatha dehantram prapti dhira sattva. So dhira, one who has got complete knowledge of the constitution of this body and the constitution of the spirit soul, they are not agreed when a soul time transmigrates from one body to another. That is the common understanding of the whole this world. Now, here uh, some philosophical philosophical questions uh, may be raised. There are two classes of philosophers that uh, after uh, liberation, after getting out of the body, uh, the soul amalgamates with the Supreme Soul. That question we have already discussed. Still, uh, there is no harm discussing it again because any, uh, I mean, substance and knowledge, if it is discussed uh, one after another, uh, twice, thrice, uh, it is better. <coughs> now, Krishna finds out that every soul is individual soul. Every soul, and that that is our experience, that every one of us, we have got some individual consciousness. Not that uh, my consciousness is just equal to your consciousness. I do not know what is going to so We are all individual souls. But according to uh, Mahavadi philosophers, uh, they say, just like uh, the sky, the ether, ether is everywhere within your body and within my and uh, within everyone, that the ether has uh, taken a form due to this particular body, but when the body is vanquished, the ether and um, I mean, the amalgamate with the greater ether. Uh, this is called ghatakas patakas. Ghatakas patakas means if akas is here. Now, akas means ether. Ether is here. Now, that ether, now by this body. Now, this body, there is also ether. Now, as soon as this body is uh, destroyed, uh, it is burned, or it is uh, in another way destroyed that this ether within my body becomes amalgamated with the greater ether. Ah. So, uh, this then, sort of assertion is not accepted in the Bhagavad Gita. Because <coughs> the first reason is that ether is a material thing. Ah. Ether is a material thing. And uh, the soul is spirit. We'll have a, 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 a later sloka that soul cannot be cut. Soul cannot be cut into pieces. Uh, uh, the spirit cannot be achidriyam, uh, madhajayam. Uh, we'll get those slogans. Soul is not, never can be cut into pieces. You see? Just like here is a paper. I can I can tore uh, this paper into pieces, but it is not possible uh, for the soul. Then, then it loses its eternity or its stability. You see? So we cannot compare ether with soul because they they are two different subject matter. You see, analogy. Now, those who, are, uh, those who are present here, those who have knowledge of logic, analogy. Analogy is possible when the two things are, uh, yeah. when there are greatest number of similarities of two things, then that can be analogy. Otherwise, there is no question of analogy. Just like uh, if I say, oh, this lady's face is just like uh, moon. Now, there must be some similarity in this face and the moon. As the moon is bright and very beautiful look at, therefore this face must be very beautiful and very bright. 
And if the face is ugly, how can I compare with this bull? So whenever we make some analogy, there must be points, greater number of points of similarity. Now here, ether is a material thing and soul is spiritual thing, so there is no similarity at all. At all. And besides that, so a, a soul, the individual soul is different from the very beginning. Nitya. Nitya Satvatuyam. In later verses we will come to understand. The Lord says that uh, these individual souls, they are my parts and parcels. Mami Vamsa Jiva Bhuta. Jiva Bhuta, this living entity, they are my parts and parcels. Uh, how it is that? And uh, I can give you a very good example. Just like the sun, sun and the sun ray. What is the sun ray? The sun ray, if you uh, analyze physically, you will find a small molecule of raising atoms, shining atoms. Uh, uh, this is material, you see. The sun ray is n- nothing but combination of man, uh, I mean, the shining atoms. Uh, it is not a, a, a homogeneous thing. Uh, anything you take, anything you take, you, you, you are artist, you, you, you um, take a point, any color, any photograph, if you uh, analyze it with a microscope or magnifying glass, you will find so many spots. Is it not? Uh, you are also artist. So, in God's nature, there is no, nothing homogeneous. There is nothing homogeneous. All molecules, atoms, particles, and even in the matter. So similarly, we, we living entities, we are also spiritual atoms. We are spiritual atoms. And our magnitude also has been attained in this heart. Oh, and he, oh. that magnitude is stated in the Purana that Kesagra Satabhagasya Satadhakal Pitasya Kesagra, you are here. Uh, I have no long hair, you have got. Now you can see the point of the hair. Kesa Agra. Agra means the point of the hair. Kesagra Satabhagasya. Now the, if the point of the hair you divide into hundred, that is imaginable. That is not imaginable by you. How the point of the hair can be divided into hundred? Kesagra Satamhagasya. Now take one part of that division and again divide into hundred. This is beyond your experience, beyond your power. Uh, the, uh, by arithmetic calculation, uh, the math, mathematicians say that the point has no length and breadth. Oh, this is, this is, this is a disappointment because uh, he cannot measure the length and breadth of the point, therefore he says like that. But point has length and breadth. Therefore, a certain class of philosophers, they have astonished simply by seeing the great magnitude of the Lord. But there is smaller, smaller, sanuraniyana. There is a much smaller than the atom. Magnitude. So that is beyond our experience. Therefore we say miraka. Miraka means we cannot calculate the akar, the actual form. Miraka does not mean that it has no form. It has form. That see, that they, that they say that the point has no length and breadth. Similarly, the soul has everything length and within that point. It has got his head, legs, everything, consciousness, everything there. And because it is beyond the calculation of all the human knowledge, they are told, they are disappointed. Niraka, 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 not Niraka. It has Niraka. But uh, we are, so our senses are so blunt that we cannot calculate. In this days of scientific advancement, you take a dead man, uh, you sit down, 
Now we can see how the soul transmigrates from this body to Now you cannot see. You cannot see. Our eyes are not qualified to see it. Therefore, the only senses, they should be uh, spiritualized. If we want to see the spirit form, the Lord is spirit form, we cannot see even the spirit form. Uh, our, our, we are very much proud of our senses, but our senses are so imperfect that now I see with my eyes, but I cannot see my eyelids. You see, the eyelid is always attached with my eyes, but it is I cannot see. So, our power of using the senses, that is very limited. So we should not depend only on the senses as a pratyaksha. It is called pratyaksha numa. There are three kinds of evidences. Pratyaksha, Anumar and Aitijya. Pratyaksha means that you can directly perceive. That is called Pratyaksha. And Anumar, Anumar means you can conjecture. Make an, it may be like this. It may be like this. Perhaps it is like this. This is called Anumar. And, and the other evidence is Aitijya. Aitijya means to take evidences from the authority. Out of these three evidences, this oitijja evidence, just like we are taking in the section of Bhagavad Gita. Sound. Sound vibrated by the greatest personality, Sri Krishna. That sort of praman is accepted. That is the best. That is the best way of acquiring knowledge. Because so far, direct evidence is concerned. It is impossible because our senses are so imperfect, we cannot have anything. Uh, we, can, we can have some direct experience of certain things, but uh, not for all. Especially for this uh, man, spiritual things, uh, which is beyond our um, experience. Uh, so protection means direct evidence you cannot have. And uh, Anuman means speculation, simply. Uh, uh, it may be like this, it may be like that. So that is also important. Because our thinking power is also limited. Because our senses are limited. So our thinking power is, mind is one of the senses. Out of the ten, the, the mind is considered to be the eleventh sense. Uh, there are five, karmendriya, and kind and sensory organs <coughs> and, uh, and working organs. Ten and the mind is the chief. So mind is also considered as one of the senses, the chief senses. Okay. So uh, because it is sense, it is imperfect. So by mental speculation we cannot have it into uh, right conclusion. By mental speculation. Though are simply speculating on mind, uh, uh, they can make some pra- progress to a certain extent, but they cannot reach the ultimate goal. Uh, it is not possible by mental speculation. Neither is it possible by direct evidence. The only, only possible evidence is authority. Authority. Uh, just like yesterday also I gave you that example. Just like mm. uh, if a child asks his mother, say, who is my father? Now the mother says, here is your father. Now if the child says, I don't believe it. So he has no other source of knowledge. Except the father, mother's version, that here is your father, he has no other alternative to know who is father. It is such a thing that neither he can imagine, na- speculate, or he may be my father, he may be my father, he may be my father, a lot of father he can gather, uh, uh, that is not possible, and neither it is possible for direct perception. The only possibility is the mother's evidence. Similarly, uh, as the mother is the authority for the child, 
Similarly, the Sruti, the Veda, they are called Madhara, Madhara, knowledge. So, uh, for such spiritual knowledge, uh, by, uh, we have to accept the authority. Now, here, yes, the Bhagavad Gita is authority. It is accepted. Uh, don't think that it is a scripture of the Hindus. No. It is for all human beings. Uh, there is reason, there is science, uh, there is philosophy. It is not dogmatic. Uh, uh, so it, it is to be understood simply. So, uh, and not only that, uh, actually it is accepted by all countries, not only in your country, but uh, in other countries also, Bhagavad Gita is accepted as one of the uh, greatest book of authority. So this is the process. Uh, you should uh, know it that the, the spirit soul, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Dehinas means the Thade, Kumana Yogana Yara, the Thade Hantram Prati, Giras Prasadam. As the soul is within the body, and the body is changing every moment, similarly, the last, last stage of change is called death. 